ladies. Hi. Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. Thank, Thank you. you. So what's the name of your group? We are Reformed. Reformed. What are your names and ages, girls? Well, I'm Renetta and I'm 18. Hi, I'm Ebony, I'm 15. I'm Alexis and I'm 21. Okay, do you have a favourite judge of all the judges here? <laughs> Alicia. <laughs> Well, if you ask the question, yeah. there's always a possibility it's not going to be you. I met you, Alicia, when I was 15. I was on a hair and beauty course, and the hairstylist, which was my teacher, your Sharon. hair... Yes. Uh, had a prep talk, and you was asking us um, what we'd like to do in the future, and I mentioned music, and you told me to stick at education first. <laughs> <laughs> really good advice. That's a shocker. Yeah, she does that to a lot of people. Don't follow your dream. Do you GCSEs? I meant, I meant. It's always good to have a fallback plan because that's the music right. industry yeah, is yeah, difficult. Yeah, that's, that's where you were coming from. But yeah, right. Girls, <laughs> don't listen to them. Okay, well, look, thank God you followed your heart and you're yes. here. So good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Original advice. <laughs> I thought, listen, that's good advice. Girls, honestly, you look adorable together. I like the way you've styled yourselves. You're talented girls, and I definitely, definitely think you deserve a chance. Thank you so much. I love the chemistry. I love your relationship. I think we found something special in you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ebony, I think you are the natural lead singer in this group. Um, look great, great chemistry. Vocals need a lot of work, but I think you've naturally got good voices. I think it was great you didn't listen to Alicia, and I think that, um, <laughs> there is great. You look like stars, it was a very, very good performance. Well done, girls. We're gonna have to take a vote now. Simon. Okay, girls, I'm gonna say yes. I'm saying yes to. Thank you. I'm going to say. When the
group and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Miss Deep. So that's what I saw when I saw in those girls. And that's why I want to support you the whole way. OK, girls, that was amazing what happened. Now you've got to live up to Alicia's potential, yes. right? Rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Yeah, it works so Good luck. Well done. Thank you. Welcome. And you are? Entity. And how long have you been a group for? Uh, we've been a group for about two years now. I recognise you. <laughs> You're Lauren's brother who is on X Factor, right? What Entity, the 20-piece dance group from Essex. My sister Lauren Black came fourth from last year's X Factor, and I was lucky enough to like dance with her on the live shows. Tell your brother Britain's Got Talent starting next year, so he can come along. So I went back and I got the team, and I said, "Let's do it." Entity age group ranges from 10 to 15. We trained up to seven hours, three to four days in a week. Being part of Entity is just amazing. There isn't anything else you could ask for. Okay, well listen, best of luck. Thank you very much. dance crews come up here and say, oh yeah, we've got something different and they've got nothing and you smashed it today. And that's why Great Britain is great. Seriously, unbelievable. Great choice, Alicia. I kind of feel that I'm sort of part of your crew since I <laughs> did invite you onto the show, and so I am now part of you. Lot. I love 
for you guys. Honestly, I think you're fantastic. The strength and the power and the focus and the determination was superb. Absolutely smashed it. Lots of them, isn't it? Do you know, I'm still dying for a choir to come out and do what they do in Sister Act and, like, really go for it. It's to hurt. Um, uh, welcome. Thank you. Uh, and your name is? We are the 100 Voices of Gospel. Is it your choir? Well, actually, some say yes. Uh, I don't own them. You're the boss. Sort of. Okay. On, the, on the stage, I'm the boss. OK. And where are you all from? Actually, we are 20-plus nationalities. Nice. Mm. OK, so we're from all over. Uh, and you obviously are American? Yes, I'm American. We've got some English people in our choir as well. Oh, that's good. Can you hold your hands up? <laughs> There he is. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's the only one. Well, I, I only saw one hand. You saw one hand. The yeah. other two, they were not able to be with oh, us. OK, of course. Hang on. They live in England. Then why couldn't they come? <laughs> well, listen, welcome, everyone. Thank you. Really good luck. I hope it goes well. Thank you. This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine oh, This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Everywhere I go Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Okay, let's go.
sorry, you beat me too. I knew you were going to. I, I'm I afraid that's my buzzer. I feel lazy. That is so annoying. I wanted you to be my buzzer. <laughs> I'm so irritated <laughs> that this one got to that buzzer before me. Well, the thing is, you just got to act quick, and if you snooze, you lose. <laughs> I think this choir is incredible. Honestly, I feel elated. I felt so happy I couldn't get it out of me quick enough. And you were amazing. I just feel on, a, on an incredible high. I just wish I could be up there with you, clapping and singing. There are literally no words that I can actually use right now to describe that feeling that you gave everyone in this room. It is so powerful. Everything about you, everything you represent is my idea of heaven. And I am honestly so proud to have pressed the golden buzzer for an act that I believe Britain's Got Talent need and you have just blown the roof off. I, you are absolutely amazing. Just us. Yeah. <laughs> no, I said, who are you? Oh, I'm Julia. I'm Annie. I'm Alice. <laughs> I'm Poppy. I'm Becky. Now tell me the name of the group. Just us. <laughs> Where are you all from? The Wirral. The Wirral. <laughs> tell me a little bit about you guys, how you met. Well, we've met at dancing because we've been dancing together since we were about five. Yeah. But this group came together because I've got scoliosis, so... Sorry, darling, what is that? Scoliosis is like a curvature of the spine. Right. My one's quite rare because it's more common to, like, have an accident and get it, but I was born with it. So I have to have surgery soon. And after surgery, I won't be able to dance, so this is, like, my last chance because I've always wanted to do Are it. Are you serious? Yeah. You've got an amazing attitude, I've got to tell you. Thank you. You really have. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you Thank so you much. So much. <laughs> I'll bless her.
from the whole crowd. Judges, us. David? Well, it was absolutely stunning performance. Obviously, when you told us that story, we were all hoping and praying it would be fantastic, but it, it so far exceeded all our expectations. It's a beautiful story about friendship and a, and a stunning performance. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Yeah, absolutely. And your friendship and strength together is just fantastic. It's lovely to watch. And it was an amazing dance routine. Alicia. I'm into, I have so much admiration for you girls right now. I can't tell you. And just, just seeing how you've all come together with this beautiful friendship that you've got and when you're passionate about something, I could not imagine not being able to ever do that again. I really couldn't. And, and you know, and that's, that's what we all, we all, why we all live, for the, for the things that we love to do. It really touched me, um, so much so that I'm gonna do. kind of person who's got determination regardless of what happens. He's not going to stop me. <laughs> See you in the finals. <laughs> I'm well, how are you? I'm really well, thank you. What's your name? My name is Lifford. Uh, Lifford? I'm from uh, South London. So tell me, what's the dream? Why are you on Britain's Got Talent? Why oh, hasn't man. this... Oh, man, it's to, to perform in front of you beautiful people. And my wife, she loves uh, the royal family, so I want to buy her a hat. Is that true? And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Come to the royal variety performance. <laughs> But mostly just to have a good time and, and sing a song, man, and, and just be here. You know, it's a big deal, me being here. We're with you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Very brave. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Oh, man. Oh, you are so good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good for you. Well done, Alicia. It felt right because I feel like it takes courage and bravery when you've been in this industry and it knocks you down and you came back. No ego. And that, that's, that, that, um... so For you to be on that stage, just singing raw heart and soul yeah. on the stage, you deserve this moment. I so agree. Yeah. Thank you very much. I so agree. Look, Lifford, you know what? That was a special, special moment. And like, I agree with Alicia, it takes guts. You know, when you've, when you've had a deal and you've got to come back and you've got to put your soul on the line like you just did, but you could feel from the atmosphere in here, we're all sitting here going, what the bloody hell happened there? I mean, <laughs> you really deserve this moment. Thank you. I'm really happy for you. Thank you so much. See you in the line. Thank you so much. Georgia Borch. Where are you from, Georgia Borch? I'm from Malta. Oh, fantastic. How old are you? I'm um, 10. 10? Yeah. Gosh, you look so much older than that. You're Thank tall. Thank you. And when you woke up this morning, how did you feel? Oh my God, I'm going to go to Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> <laughs> and are you singing? Yes, I'm going to sing. And is this the biggest audience that you've ever performed in front of? Yes, yes. definitely. <laughs> All right, darling, what's the song that you would like to sing today? Um, it's 10, it's an original song. And you wrote that? Yes. Okay, what's it about? It's about like how some adults, they don't hear what their kids say, like you just leave them hanging around, whatever, you don't care. <laughs> but your parents listen to you, right? Yeah, my parents this listen This has nothing to, to do with them? Yeah, no, no. it's not. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant, all right, darling, good luck. Thank you.
just knew when I woke up this morning, this was going to be a great day. I could feel it. I have a son who's five, trust me. I listen to him, not the other way around. I learn a lot more from him than other people. Um, so I get it, and it was amazing. I cannot believe you are 10 years old. Thank you. I was barely out of nappies when I was 10 years old. I mean, just everything. You're. Oh, It takes a lot to really, really move me, and you floored me, like, absolutely floored you. Your vocal capability, your lyrical capability, you are 10 years old. This is unbelievable. You are a star. You have the best personality as well. I love Thank everything you. about you. Congratulations. Thank you. What's your name? Hi, my name's Nabil Abdul Rashid, and I'm from Croydon, South London. Great! Hey, I got Croydon. How old are you? Uh, I'm 34. 34. Why are you here today? Um, I've spent so much time doing other stuff, but now I want to pursue this. It's going to give me a chance to chase my dream and spend more time with my kids. <laughs> but you've been harboring a dream, have you? For the oh, whole yes. of your life? Oh, yes. Or a nightmare, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> I mean. Well, look, we don't know what you're going to do. We like to be surprised. So, Nabil, take it away. So, Sky and all people, you all right? In case you haven't figured it out, yes, I am a stand-up comic. My name is Nabil Abdul Rashid, and uh, I am a Muslim, which is something... I'm not going to lie, that's not the reaction I was expecting. I have to announce that I'm Muslim because people never seem to realize I am until it's too late. <laughs> Recently, like, it was my birthday, right? Some of my colleagues found out it was my birthday. One of them was like, yo, fam! <laughs> it's your birthday, can't say nothing, fam. Say nothing, fam. Man's got you, fam. Man's got a surprise for you, rude man. <laughs> I said, why are you talking like that? You're Irish. And he said... <laughs> Took me out. Where did he take me? A bar for a cocktail party. I'm like, bro, you know I don't drink. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you do the Muslim thing, but it's your birthday, rude boy. Loosen up. <laughs> It's my birthday, so what next? Hey, Nabil, I know you have a nut allergy, but you see this peanut butter sandwich, fam? It's banging! <laughs> Loosen up! It's good, man. Because people tell me I don't look like a Nabil Abdul Rashid. Apparently, I look more like a Tyrone. <laughs> or a Marlon, or maybe even a Babatunde, you know, whatever. <laughs> I turned up to a show recently. They wouldn't let me in. I turned up to the group, like, excuse me, you can't be here. This green room is for a Nabil Abdul Shekhab al I'm like, no, it's Abdul Rashid. Yes, that's what I said, Abdul Shish Kebab. <laughs> but I'm I don't mean to offend you, but has anyone ever told you that your name sounds a bit... Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Muslim. I said, yes, that's because I am a Muslim. He said, okay, well, at least tell me what the name means. I said, the name Nabil Abdul Rashid basically means that my phone calls are monitored. Now... <laughs> <laughs> the annoying thing about being Muslim in 21st century Britain is you know the MI5 prevent and home office listening on your phone calls, but they don't go halves on the bill. <laughs> they follow you on Twitter, they don't retweet. <laughs> they follow you on Facebook, but they don't poke. Well, not on Facebook, they poke you at the airport. I mean, <laughs> That's my time, man. But...
so many levels. Yeah, it just felt right. Congratulations. Well done. Woo! I didn't do that. You did that. Trust me. You're edgy. You're charismatic. And I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. It was fantastic. The writing is perfect. The delivery is perfect. I want to say thank you for coming on this show and, and bringing this style of humour because it makes the show grow. I didn't think I was going to do that today, but it just felt right. You are a breath of fresh air. Give me How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm not too bad, thank you. What are your names? Um, so I go by the name of Flint. Flint, yeah. My name's Taylor. Where How'd you get the you are? Flint and Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> and how old are you boys? I'm 22. I'm 17. Oh, you babies! <laughs> and where are you from? <laughs> so I'm from Creighton. <laughs> Come on! And I'm from Birmingham. Nice. <laughs> so how did you guys meet? So um, we met through the first lockdown um, via Instagram. We were doing like Instagram lives. Okay. Today was the first day we met. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. oh my! Wow. That is nuts. So who do you guys look up to, and what's the big dream for you both? I look up to my like dad a lot. Like my dad's my inspiration. Is Pop yeah. here? He's here. <laughs> Him, my mum, helped me become the person I am today. Did you write the song? Yeah, I wrote the lyrics myself. Yeah. It's called Change. Yeah, the song's about basically inspiring my younger brothers. I want them to like not follow the same footsteps I used to follow. I want them to be better than me. Oh, that's nice. Well, this is your moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Been blessed with this gift and I'ma use it And I thank the Lord because my life really changed So I pour my heart and my soul into music Listen to the words, I hope you can relate From a kid I was an antics, I never gripped a weapon Stealing from these shops, I was always in detention Didn't know what I was thinking, faced a few suspensions They tried to tell my parents, I'm a kid that's got aggression I was following the crowd, I thought that I could fit in I thought they had my back but the situations were different But still I start to follow, the one and be seen as weak So anything that they do, I front line so you can see And I was dumb, stupid, know that I was crazy Following the crowd because I wanted them to rate me After school doing things that some would call shady I was deep involved, nobody came to save me I had to change my ways because I made my parents cry Something changed up in my mind because there were times I could have died Fake this, fake that, I was living life in lies Parents gave me everything, young me never realised I really had to change to try and be the best for my bros Telling them don't make the same mistakes I did on the road Always choose the right path, never lie, forget about the code If you go left, you go regret this When you're getting old, I know that I ain't perfect or talk I made mistakes change is just a process I'm doing what it takes gonna make my family proud and put a smile up on their face you knew me in the days you would have seen the drastic change but it's a struggle I can't lie I've been through the pain and been through some dark times I put my pen to my pad and then I write rhymes If you didn't know, I can tell you that it's my time I'll shine, pen to my pad and every day I keep on writing Born to be a star so every day I keep on shining My work is paying off, I'm never stopping grinding I'll see you at the top and we know that it's all in time And being blessed with this gift and I'ma use it And I thank the Lord because my life really changed So I pour my heart and my soul into music Listen to the words that I hope you can relate
I loved hearing your story. You also are phenomenal on that piano. I mean, amazing. I really love that you have something important to say, and there'll be a lot of people watching this who will, will, will relate to that, and they'll take a very positive message away from it, which I think is fantastic. And they're both of you together. Well, it was real. That's what was great. Yeah, it was real. Yeah. It was real, and I love that. I love the scene great movie. This shouldn't have worked, you know, bearing in mind how you'd never met until before <laughs> today. Everything was just brilliant. Even when your voice kind of broke with emotion at the end, it was just absolutely a perfect audition in my opinion. <laughs> Genuinely, it's everything we look for. I mean, nothing makes me more happy than seeing mus young musicians. You had something to say, Flint. We've had no one on the show like you before, which is brilliant. And they say in life, save the best till last. Live shows now.